Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy, professional astrologer. Yes, and you can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com. Please subscribe to this video and please share. I'd appreciate that. The more people that get to see it, just the more informed we are as a community. So today I want to talk about the full moon that is on March 12th. It's at 22 degrees of Virgo, the first lunar event since we've had an amazing amount of eclipses. Well, two eclipses, but boy, oh boy, they got an extra boost with that Mars and Uranus conjunction opposite Jupiter uh, during the end of February. And that just gave us all a, a little more feisty feel to uh, to our lives, to our daily living. Uh, we get that energy of Mars, which is all about pushing us forward and allowing us to stand up for what we believe in. We can do that at any time, of course. But when Aries gets activated like this with Mars and Uranus, it is uh, we have a hard time not standing up for ourselves, whether you're a person who is just typically prefers to stay in the background and not make a lot of noise, that Mars-Uranus conjunction, which was going on on March 1st, um, in March, in February 28th, very strong to push us all forward into something that we may not typically do, you know, so yay, hang on, <laughs> we're hanging on. So on March 12th, the moon is uh, full at 22 degrees of Virgo. So I want you to look back, I want you to look back to September 13th, 2015, and in that week, week or two of that, uh, that time period, look back, really, go back into your journals, your calendars, see what was going on then, because that was a new moon eclipse, and now we actually have a full moon at that very same degree, within, it's within two degrees. So whatever we started back in September 2015, now we're able to see the fruits of our labor. What have we been doing since then? Because that's nearly a year and a half. And so what have we been doing since that point? Because this is why eclipses are important. This is why we always make a big deal out of eclipses, because they really propel us forward. So on March 12th, with this full moon in Virgo, it will show us the culmination of everything in the goals and all of the things that we set into play as well in September 2015. All right, so I have this written down in the written forecast on my forecast page on my website. The link is below in the text box. If you're on YouTube, you can see it there. If you're on my website, just click the forecast tab. So what do I want to say about this? So we know when we have full moons, we get to see the culmination, like I've already said, of things that we have been doing over a certain period of time. And now that we get to see these things with the full moon, it wants us to release what is not serving anymore. And when it comes to Virgo, Virgo is definitely in charge of the details. It loves the details and it wants us to focus on the details of our everyday life, which includes our physical being, our health, our wellness, you know, how well we eat, you know, the foods we eat, our digestion, the jobs that we um, engage in, our co-workers, the things that go on around our homes, things that fall into the category of what I need to do pretty much every single day. What is a routine for me? Now, so write those things out. Again, this is written out. I wrote this out for you guys on the website. So go check it out so you can actually do this little exercise. Look at over the last year and a half, especially if you can remember what you were doing in September 2017, what is working now and what isn't. Write these lists out. Virgo loves lists. Sit down, write out a list of what is working and what is not working in your life um, currently and then you can start to shed the things that are not working. The best way people love when they do ceremonies, one of the best things I've ever seen is when you have things in your life that are no longer working, it's fine. If they didn't work, it didn't work. But write it down on a piece of paper, just a small piece of paper, and burn it and let it just go to ash. And it's just a symbol of you releasing things. And it's okay to continue to release Full, through the full waning phase of the moon, so all the way until the next new moon. So you have two weeks starting on March 12th, and that actually happens at what time of day? It's at 10.54 a.m. on the East Coast. So you have plenty of time, a um, couple of weeks, to really sit down and go over your lists of what's working and what is not working. Keep the things that are working and fine tune them. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo is what all that is. And then look at the list of the things that is not working and then start releasing those things. That is also Virgo. 
All right. If you have any questions, you know, you can write them below. Questions and comments are below. Thank you very much. And I have classes starting soon. So come to my website and click on my class page too and see what we got. And I got love teaching private classes as well. So if any of that interests you, let me know and I will see you again soon. So thank you very much and blessings and namaste. Thank <laughs> you.